To connect Tidal MIDI and Ableton Live, we must first customize the MIDI bus. On your Mac, open Audio MIDI Setup. Show the MIDI Studio. Double-click on the IAC driver and take the device online. We can now begin customizing the MIDI ports with a naming scheme specific to Tidal. If you'd like to work with more than one MIDI instrument, simply create additional ports and rename each one. To connect the MIDI bus to Tidal, simply copy and paste the MIDI commands from TidalCycles.org into your editor and execute each line. After the second command, you should recognize your custom IAC driver ports in the output section. Now, we can begin assigning Tidal MIDI devices to these individual ports. Confirm success in the output section. Now, we can connect live to Tidal's MIDI devices as we would with any other MIDI source. First, confirm your Tidal devices appear in Live's MIDI preferences and are track enabled. Then, simply configure your synths to receive MIDI from these devices. For this demo, I'll turn on monitoring for all three instances of Alto. Now, we can begin coding in Tidal. As you can hear, the connection between the two is responsive and steady. Since Tidal is driving MIDI, you might want it to dictate Live's clock for tempo-synced audio effects. Though currently there is no way to send clock information directly from Tidal to Live, there is a workaround utilizing the Max for Live device BeatSeeker to begin. Let's rename one of our MIDI bus ports Tidal Clock to separate it from our instruments. We'll have to reboot SuperDirt for the changes to take place. Reinitialize the MIDI module and execute our two instrument commands. Let's edit the third assignment to reflect the name of our clock port. We'll reboot Ableton, open three MIDI tracks and one audio track, and add the synths we'd like to play. In this one, we'll load two instances of Alto. For our third MIDI port, we'll load an operator and set it to SAW64. Now, assign your synths to receive MIDI from Tidal. Make sure the operator is receiving the clock port. We'll want our clock track to send MIDI from Tidal to Live in quarter notes, so ensure its code features the times two command. We'll route operator's audio to the audio track, and on it, load BeatSeeker. 
Seeker is a Max for Live device that analyzes incoming audio and syncs Live's clock to that audio's tempo. Tidal loads naturally at 120 BPM. Let's test Beat Seeker by slowing Tidal's tempo. As you can see, Beat Seeker has recognized the change in tempo, and we can now initialize Live's transport. In the top left, we can confirm Beat Seeker's influence. If we adjust the clock in Tidal, Beat Seeker fluidly adjusts the clock in Live. This is perfect for humanizing. Currently, Beat Seeker works best with small shifts. For Beat Seeker to analyze large tempo changes in Tidal, it will require a temporary pause of Live's transport. However, this can provide some fun.